you may well try and get in through the video so you might hear a little pause on the floor so if you hear anything it's just the pooches and also if the light changes throughout this video I'm very sorry I cannot control the sun unfortunately so it might dip up and down a little bit but anyway now that's out of the way let's crack on with the video today's video is about the look fantastic beauty box for August which I have right here so this is their global glamour box which looks absolutely stunning as always again it's a beautiful colour scheme that's going to look great on your desk here's our little beauty box magazine that comes with all of the boxes and tells you a little bit about the products inside and there's also little beauty features in there as well which are always really interesting to read welcome to the month of beauty adventures we are taking you on a journey around the world to discover some of the best kept beauty secrets from around the globe as well as looking a little closer to home at the cult British buys that you should have in your bathroom cabinet. So I was really excited once again to get this box. I always love the Look Fantastic Beauty box. So, so many people ask me which is my favourite beauty sub box and it's definitely Look Fantastic. I think it's great value for money and I think you get more bang for your buck from Look Fantastic than you do with other companies. Something else that people always comment on on my videos is how quick I get my box and people ask me if I work for Look Fantastic. Number one, yes I get my box quicker than most people because I'm an affiliate of Look Fantastic. I do not work for Look Fantastic, I'm not employed by Look Fantastic, I'm not obliged to make a video about the box and I'm not obliged to talk about the box whatsoever I'm just affiliated with the company and I talk about the box because I enjoy it. This is what the box looks like inside this month. There's a whole host of goodies for us to play around with so I'm going to take you through each of the products and tell you a little bit about them. First up, absolute cult products, mane and tail shampoo and conditioner. So this was a company that first made products for horses, I think that's correct and they then diversified into shampoos and conditioners for humans. This cult US shampoo and conditioner used to be dedicated to pamper horses' manes and tails, but since celebrities like Jennifer Aniston and Demi Moore swore by it, it has become an essential in every girl's bathroom. Your hair will be left smooth and swishing. So yeah, try it out, it is really, really good. It does leave your hair feeling really nourished. I don't know what it is about it, but it just seems to be more nourishing than any other shampoo and conditioner that I've used in a long time. Even the shampoo feels so, so nourishing, so they are great ones to try. I've used this shampoo and conditioner in the past and really, really liked it. The only thing that I found was that my hair seemed to be very static whilst I was using it. Um, and I don't have problems with my hair being very static usually, so I actually stopped using it for a little while, but I tried a sample of the conditioner a little while ago and fell in love with it all over again. It is an amazing brand and I also really like to use this on my makeup brushes, which might seem like an odd product to want to use on your makeup brushes, but my makeup brushes are expensive and I pay quite a lot of money for them, so I want to treat them really well. So I use this shampoo on them and then I also use a conditioner on them. So that's for both my personal brushes and my brushes that I use on my clients as well. And it seems a bit daft, I know, when you say it out loud, but it really helps to keep the bristles of the brush conditioned and nice and soft. And I think it just takes care of them really well. So that's what I like to do. But it's also important to remember that you need to sanitize the brushes as well. So this will clean them really, really well. But you also need to sanitize them to get rid of any bacteria. So um, formulations that use things like isopropyl alcohol are really good for that like the MAC brush cleaner so yeah top tip mane and tail shampoo and conditioner is great for makeup brushes <laughs> next in the box is a product from Gatineau I think that's how you pronounce it and it's a brand from France and this is their gentle silk cleanser I've used the micellar water from Gatineau before 
Um, they are quite expensive products so I'm really really happy to have this in the box because I always like trying sort of more higher end brands. I'm really looking forward to trying this. I haven't yet tried this one out but I'm itching to try it. So I'll put it to the test later on today to get rid of all this makeup. I'm actually doing a few festival makeup looks which is why my makeup is quite bright today. So after I finish filming this I'm going to be putting glitters on and all sorts of different bits and pieces to do some um, makeup pictures for the blog. So if you're interested in seeing those, I'll put a link to my website in the um, down bar so you can check those out. Next in the box is a moisturiser. So this is a body milk. It's from Cause or is it Chorus? I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. Um, this is the Basil Lemon. So this says it's a green spice of dazzling freshness with a vibrant lemon zest touch. Of course, I've tried this one out already. It's really nice. It's quite a nice lightweight body milk. Um, it just sinks into the skin really nicely. It doesn't feel tacky or sticky. It smells really beautiful and fresh. Very, very lemony. Perfect for summertime. It just reminds me of sunny days. So this is a really, really nice addition to the box this month. Next in the box is a BB cream. This is from Skin79 and it's their Super Plus Beblesh Balm and it's their original BB anti-wrinkle whitening UV protection SPF 30 plus PA plus plus balm. <laughs> so I really like a good BB balm but I'm very very fussy about my BB creams. The one that I'm really really stuck on at the moment is from Dead Sea Spa Magic and it's just amazing to use. You can build it up on your skin so the coverage is buildable which is unusual for a BB cream. It's got the SPF in there, doesn't sting my eyes, it stays put all day which is just mind-blowing to me for a BB cream because they usually slide right off my skin but I really love that one. Anyway, I thought I would give this one a little try. I haven't actually tested it on my face yet but I tested it on the back of my hand and wow, I was really really impressed with this. This is what the sample looks like out of the box. It's in this really cool hot pink packaging which is really nice. I love that metallic finish. And I put this on and I was really surprised by the coverage. I mean, you'll probably not be able to see it here, but I will do a cutaway. It feels to me more like a foundation than a cream, but like a really nourishing foundation. And I mean, the coverage on that, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but that coverage is insane for a BB cream. That is amazing. It doesn't really smell of anything at all, so I think it would be quite gentle on the skin as well. But yeah, this is like really good. I really like this. Originating from Korea, this BB cream will become your new beauty best friend. An all-in-one product that combines Korean technology with a powerful SPF to protect your skin from sun damage. It's the only product you need for a flawless complexion. No wonder it's great if it originates from Korea because their skincare and BB creams are just amazing. They've got it nailed. So I cannot wait to try this out properly on my face and I'll probably do a review of this on my blog too. Next in the box, is a little liner from Lord and & Berry and this is the Brunette Magic Brow. I haven't tried this out yet but I'm thinking it might be a little bit too dark for my brows but my mum might really like this. I think I'll pass this one on to mum. Um, but this says it's a quick and easy brow product made in fashionable Milan. This pencil is easy to use and suits all eyebrow colours thanks to its two colour universal tip. I think it's a bit too dark for me but I think my mum will love it. And the last product in the box is this little cute egg from Lottie London and this is actually a lip balm so it reminds me of those little is it EOS lip balms um, that everybody was raving about not so long ago. It is so so cute. So this says um, Lottie London is an English brand that ticks all the boxes. Cruelty free, vegan, powerly Powerly, <laughs> powerfully pigmented and affordable. These balm balls are so small but also powerful. So say bye to dried and chapped lips in just one swipe. Now I admit I've been using this one because it's so cute. So it's just really easy to apply onto your lips and it smells a little bit like Baby Algon's cherries that she used to have. If you had a Baby Algon, if you're around my age and you were a 90s kid, you will know baby all gone and you will know the scent of those cherries if you ever smell it before you will not forget that scent they smell amazing and this is exactly what it smells like it's so nice but um 
yeah, it's a really nice balm to use. It's really nourishing on your lips, not sticky, not tacky. Your hair's not going to stick into it while you're walking around if you use this on its own. It is just so nice. So I'm going to really enjoy using this and also I'll be able to really put it to the test seeing as I'm still taking Accutane so my lips get really, really dried. So we'll see what kind of miracles this can work. But either way, that's just so pretty and so cute. I think that's a great stocking filler for Christmas or a great little gift to put with something else if you're looking for like a birthday gift or something like that. I think that's really cute. So that is everything that came in the Look Fantastic box for August. August already. I know I say it every single month but August. It's August. Can you believe it? Already. I must say though I'm getting really really excited for the colder months coming. I'm definitely more of an autumn winter person than I am a summer person. I just love it when the leaves turn and it's nice and frosty outside you can get lovely and wrapped up and of course Halloween. I've just started doing my Halloween stuff now and started to build on different characters that I want to release in October so look out for those coming if you like spooky makeovers and special effects sort of things. I'm doing quite a bit of that this year so that should be great fun. While I'm here, I thought I would tell you about a really embarrassing thing that happened to me recently because it still makes me laugh even though I was absolutely mortified at the time. So I'd been to meet a friend in town at a new coffee shop that we've got. It's called The Old George. If you're in Barnsley, go try it out. It's amazing. Their flat whites are to die for. They are so good. Anyway, I met my friend for a coffee and I was driving back home and I stopped at McDonald's to get a sandwich because I was absolutely starving. I've not eaten all day. So I stopped at the drive-thru, driving through, everything's absolutely fine. Ordered the food, got to the window, paid for everything, drove across to the next window to wait for the food. So the guy inside hands me the bag with the receipt, like wrapped over the top, all fine. So I'm holding onto the bag and I turned and said, could I have some barbecue sauce please? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll just get you some just a second. So I go to put the bag on my front seat and because I've got the aircon on in full in the car because it was a really, really hot day, the receipt flew up off of my bag and hit me in the face. <laughs> so I'm sat in the car trying to pull this receipt off my face, but because the aircon's like, like really powerful all over my face, this receipt's just stuck over my face and I'm trying to peel it off and it keeps going back onto it. So I'm going like this and like trying to shut it down and grabbed it off of my face, kind of went to throw it down and it blew back on me again. So I was absolutely mortified because at the same time I could see that this guy stood hanging out the window holding this little barbecue sauce looking at me like, you okay? <laughs> I've never been so embarrassed in my life. I managed to get this receipt off my face, screwed it up, threw it on the floor, took the sauce and was like, yeah, yeah, fine, thanks, thanks. And just drove off. I was absolutely mortified. I got home and I told my mum. And she was just like, I, I just can't believe you. I just can't believe these things happened to you. So embarrassing. But it was so, so funny. So yeah, everything makes a great story to tell. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave and click the little notification bell so that you won't miss any videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you all soon on my new video. Bye.